Hello, welcome to Bob's Dungeon. My name's Bob, I'll be your host. And we have entered the month of October. And I figure for the month of October, we'll go ahead and take a look at a bunch of horror-themed games and supplement books. Maybe even, if I get the chance to get out, look at some creep more creepy places, which would be cool. I like doing that. But we're going to get into our first book for the month. And that is a supplement for 3rd edition Dungeons & Dragons. It's just entitled Undead. And this book has 128 pages and a copyright of 2001. It was published by Elderic Entertainment Group. All of the artwork in this book is in black and white. And it's pretty decent. So let's go ahead and look at that artwork. The first thing we see when we open the book is a black and white redo of the cover. All of the artwork in this book is in black and white. The artwork itself is pretty good and captures a tone for this book. To use this book, what you're going to need is a copy of the core rule books for either 3rd edition Dungeons & Dragons our 3.5 edition of Dungeon Dragons, Player's Handbook, Dungeon Master's Guide, Monster Manual. You will also need a full set of dice, full set of dice containing a 20-sided die, a 12-sided die, preferably two 10-sided dice for only both percentiles and tens, an 8-sided die, a 6-sided die, and a 4-sided die. This book is pretty good. It's got a lot of information for running for the pursuit of the undead. The book mostly focuses on becoming undead or pursuing the aspect of being undead as a means of immortality. And it goes into the book about how you can become an undead creature either intentionally or by accident or what have you. It goes over several different things. It also gets into individuals that hunt the undead and try to put it into it, try to kill it, which is kind of nifty. So you got two different things going on in the book. And it gives you different groups of hunters that you could bring into your games if you want. This book has one new skill for your games if you wish and that is a new craft skill which is called autopsy self-explanatory that's kind of neat it also gives some new uses for some other old skills in third edition dungeon dragons it also gives you some new feats that you can add to your game it also has a bunch of new prestige classes that you can add to your game the prestige classes consist of both hunters hunting down the undead and undead creatures you can add to your character if you want. You just have to read up on them. The prestige classes are the Champion of the Dead, the Chargrim, the Dying, the Exorcist, the Faith Hunter, the Hunter of the Fallen, the Knight of the Eternal Eye, the Paladin of the Pale, the Puppet, the Raider, the Risen, the Sacred Thurge, the Unbeating Heart, and the Wasteland Druid. And there's some pretty good information in here on each of those prestige classes. It also gives you some Hunter's Kits which are like packets of different tools and equipment that you use to equip your characters. In this book there is also some brand new gods that you can add to your campaign setting and some new clerical dam domains that you can put into your game. Which is pretty nifty having more domains for your undead. <laughs> there are also some new spells 
and some new magic items and new artifacts that you can add to your campaigns. There are some undead archetypes so that when you play an undead character, you can add these archetypes if you want. So you don't have to play the stereotypical version of whatever undead character you're playing. There is also some notes in here on how to build a campaign that revolves around the undead, which is kind of nifty. It's also got some rules for the actual ceremonies that are used to make either a lich or a mummy, which is kind of neat. And that's really about it. It's just got some really good information about the undead and how to apply them to actual characters, if you wish. And tells you how to play an undead campaign, if you want. And that brings me to three questions. Would I play a character using the information in this book? Absolutely. I like the undead. <laughs> Nobody ever lets me play a necromancer, so... Oh well. But I would use the information as the character in this book, from this book. Would I allow information from this book in a campaign I run? Again, I'm going to say yes, I would. I think it would be neat to run a dark campaign with characters being undead. That would be a different change of things. Would I recommend this book? Yeah, I'd recommend it. If you're, especially if you're wanting to do something completely different and run a game that's not a typical Dungeons and Dragons game, if you really want a really good horror edge in your game, this would be a good book to look into, at least get a few ideas from. And that's really all I got to say about Undead. Thank you for joining me at a look at this book, and hopefully you'll join me next time where we'll talk about something else. Bye.